I'm Dark Lord Kaiser, and this is not not a game. There's no game here. Don't worry. I'm not going to rant about Brexit again. If you want my opinion on that, that hour-long video still exists. Something like that. This is a short channel update, basically. I have covered some of what I'm going to talk about um, in previous videos. A lot of what I'm going to talk about has been on, on Twitter, but I suspect very few people follow me on Twitter. Three people follow me on Twitter. Only one of them that I'm aware of actually watches the videos. One of them I'm pretty sure is just a spam bot trying to get me to buy Bitcoin or something. Doesn't really matter. Uh, but I'm going to go over everything just in, in one video. So I have mentioned this in other videos, but my work at a theme park. Now I haven't mentioned which theme park that is for fairly obvious reasons. I haven't even told you people my real name, so I'm not going to tell you where I work. Uh, I do just refer to it as Not Disney, because it amuses me to do so. But it being a theme park, I'll tell you as much as it's a theme park more geared in mind towards children than it is to adults. As such, there is absolutely no point in it being open during uh, times when schools are open. So it does also close over the Christmas period, and then it reopens um, shortly before Easter. Shortly before it opens, uh, it opens um, at the time of recording, opens at the weekend. Um, but shortly before it opens, they tend to call me and a few other people in to clean things up, get uh, retrained on rides ready for the opening. Um, as such, I very rapidly went from having a lot of free time to suddenly having only a couple of days to do any work on uh, on videos at any one time. Uh, a couple of days a week, I should say. A couple of days a week to do any work on the videos. So I was trying to then fit um, video recording and editing into the time I got after work, which normally would be fine, except there are some days where I would go straight from work um, out to the martial arts that I do, which I mentioned before again, uh, Tai Chi and Aikido. Um, and I go straight from work to those, I then get home at late o'clock. Too, too late to do any, you know, work on the videos. Um, and as such, the recording schedule I had set up of every two days getting another video out went completely out the window. I tried to keep up with it, it just wasn't feasible. So, it sort of moved to being more or less one video every three days, but even that, I couldn't keep up with. Particularly when, like an idiot, I decided to record an hour-long video, which I then had to try and make <laughs> into something watchable uh, the next day. So that ended up taking more time. Now with the park opening at the weekend, I don't know what my schedule is going to be for the week after. Now the park isn't open, but it's not looking like they're going to have everything uh, completely ready before the weekend. So there's a good chance they may call me back in next week to do a bit more cleaning and stuff. So, for the moment, I am just going to put a brief pause on the regular updated videos. I will still be uploading, and it will only be for a, a week at the max, I would have thought. But as I say, I won't be uploading frequently. However, good news is, once we get past this, this opening period, uh, I'll have a few weeks of basically just working weekends and my intention is to start a new series which will be very different to what I've been doing I say very different it'll be different to what I've done so far but it will include elements from a couple of different videos that I have made so far so it won't be a gameplay video it won't involve commentary uh, which is very good if that whole article 13 turns out to completely bite us in the backside um, it was going to be a sort of combination of two videos that I'm going to link at the end of this. The first video is when Neo Rambler sent me a present of some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. When I opened the cards and was doing the, the reaction video, I hadn't realised my camera had stopped recording a half a minute in. So I was forced to come up with a new way of presenting those cards in something vaguely resembling an entertaining manner. And ended up doing this sort of, almost like a slideshow kind of thing, which I then recorded commentary to go with and, and so on. So that's going to be one half uh, of the uh, what this, this new series is going to be. 
and the other half is going to be closer to the Brexit video I just did. Not as long as that, and it certainly won't be an improvised <laughs> improvised recording like that one was. Um, this will be scripted, and will only be a handful of minutes long. It won't be an hour. We're talking, I'm thinking currently maybe five to ten minutes as a general sort of ballpark, but I won't really know how long the videos are going to be until I start making them, I guess. <laughs> and that series I'm going to call Pickwitter, which is actually an acronym for pretending I know what I'm talking about. And will just be me talking about a topic that I will have gone and done some work on, and then put together with this the visual style reminiscent of the Yu-Gi-Oh card video, but with the, you know, informational side from the, the Brexit one. It will involve opinions, but it will also involve facts. And it will basically be um, anything I feel like talking about, but I will be open, of course, to suggestions. Someone saying, for example, could you make a video on French cheeses? I mean, I could. I don't think it'd be very good. I don't know why I picked that as an example. But, you know, I would take, take um, requests, as it were, but would mainly be focused on just a topic I found interesting, which I then condensed down into, you know, five minutes or so, uh, along with some amusing, um, hopefully amusing, images to go with it. Think of it sort of like Yancey Crowshaw's Zero Punctuation series, but not exclusively about gaming. It'll be closer to that as a thing that exists. That's the plan, but obviously, those videos will be fewer and far between than the gameplay videos on account of writing, creating the images, recording, putting it all together. It will just naturally take longer. Uh, which is why I said I'm putting that series off until I'm just working weekends again. So, look forward to that, because I'm hoping it'll be good. If it's not well received, then the problem I can stop making them, but I think it'll be fun. Well, I, well, I think it'll be fun. I wouldn't be doing it or anything, it'd be fun. I'm basically trying to be a light entertainment channel, but. Yes, uh, so for the moment there will be still uh, gameplay commentary videos which should be fine under the Article 13 because it still comes under criticism, effectively, rather than... They won't be. It's, it's not, I'm not trying to claim this sort of content as my own, I'm not trying to steal it, I'm not even trying to make money off it. it will, they are effectively criticism videos. It's just sort of reactionary, I guess. It's sort of reactionary criticism videos. So, as I said, they should be for any of you worried that, you know, your, your PewDiePies, your Jacksepticeyes, your Markiplier are suddenly going to be uh, short on work, don't worry, their channels are basically criticisms, just, as I said, in sort of real time. So, we should be fine. Until YouTube tries to make an algorithm doesn't know what context is, by which I mean any of its algorithms, because context is a complicated and nuanced thing that algorithms don't understand. So, yes. I don't think Article 13 is going to screw us up. YouTube probably will. This isn't where this video was supposed to be going, but that's where we ended up, apparently. So, yes. In summary, got work. We'll have lots of time taken up. Got dogs yapping in the background for some reason. Working on a new series called Pickwitter. But we'll hold off on that until I have time to do it. So, yes, you will still get videos. I just can't guarantee how frequently they will come for the time being. I thank you for your understanding in this matter. I will keep you updated on Twitter, so if you are interested, follow me up on that, at Dark Lord Kaiser. I have mentioned that before, it'll probably flash on the screen already. It depends on how much editing I feel like doing the background of this particular video. That's it, that's all I was going to say. You can go now. Bye.